Hello, and welcome to this video about using the additional image feature in the Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app. An additional image attribute is an optional but very important attribute that allows merchants to provide additional images for their products other than the main product image. It allows up to 10 additional images per product to be submitted. The use case for providing additional images is to give shoppers a better idea of what the product looks like from different angles or in different contexts. By providing more images, merchants can help shoppers make more informed purchasing decisions and increase the likelihood of a sale. Here you have two types of products generally. Products without any variants and products with multiple variants. 1. How to submit additional images for products without any variants. Look at the following product. This product has no variants. With our app you can submit 10 additional images apart from the main product image submitted in the image link attribute. Let's talk about the main image first. If you go to settings and then to sync settings from Shopify you will come across a checkbox called product image option. Use the second image for a product having no variant. If you haven't chosen this checkbox, your first image will always be your main product image. This means by default the first image that you see here in the Shopify store is the image that is submitted in the image link attribute. If you have ticked this checkbox, then our app will extract the second image as the main image. This means by default the second image that you see here in the Shopify store is the image that is submitted in the image link attribute. Sometimes merchants may have kept the first image promotional or from lifestyle perspective, thus it may not be suitable according to Google standards, they can tick the box and submit their second image as the default image. Note that this option only impacts products without any variance. Now let's move back to the original thing we were discussing which is submitting additional images for products without any variance. On the same page sync settings from Shopify below the product image option, you have a checkbox called submit additional images. Scenario 1. If the main product image is the first image and you check the submit additional images checkbox in the sync setting from Shopify, then the app will submit the remaining images 2 to 11 to the additional image attribute. Scenario 2. If the main product image is the second image, which means that your product image option is already ticked, and now if you check the submit additional images checkbox in the sync Shopify settings, then the app will submit the first image and the remaining images 3 to 11 to the additional image attribute. 2. How to add additional images for products with variants. Now for the product with variants, our app submits the variant assigned image as the default product image in the image link attribute, and if no image is assigned to the respective variants, then the featured image of the product will automatically be submitted as the product image link attribute for the variants. Remember that our app submits the additional images for any particular variants based on the image alt text and or image URL of the variant. So let's look at how you can add an alt text for any particular product image in Shopify. When you click on any image in your Shopify store, you will find the option to assign the alt text here. Image alt text. If you have already assigned image alt text for images, then our app will match variant title or SKU with image alt text, and if image alt text contains SKU or variant title, then that particular image will be submitted as the additional image link attribute. Image URL If your image URL itself contains the SKU or variant title of the variant, then all the images containing the SKU or variant title of any particular variant will be submitted as additional image link attribute. In case you want to submit a particular image for multiple variants, then you'll have to add the SKUs of all those variants in the image alt text with a comma separated value. That's all for the topic. Please comment below if you have any queries or reach us at support at